In this short video, you're going to learn how to grow massive quantities of bush beans in a small amount of space. Our family loves green beans. There's nothing better than that fresh taste and crisp crunch of a garden fresh bean. And over the years, we've grown more and more beans, and I've learned several tips along the way that I'm going to share with you so you can be successful in your garden. It all starts with selecting the right bean. I found that the provider bean is an excellent choice. It's easy to grow, provides high yields, and it also germinates well in cooler temperatures, which is important here in New England in zone five. You can plant out as soon as the soil temperature is over 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I really found this soil thermometer very handy. In addition, make sure that your pH is above six and the site gets about four to six hours of sun a day. To prepare the planting site, I add fresh compost to the top layer of the soil. And at the site that I plant beans, I typically plant a spring crop, such as arugula or radishes, ahead of the beans. Here in zone five, I don't typically plant my beans until late May, so I'll have time to do arugula and radishes early on in the season. So I'm just mixing the compost into the soil and then I'm gonna use the square foot space guiding. I'm planting nine beans per square foot. And when I plant, I'll do one planting every three weeks for about three plantings to ensure I have a continuous harvest. Before we begin planting, I wanted to highlight the importance of inoculates. You may notice the package says inoculates may increase yields. Beans are part of the legume family, and legumes have the ability to synthesize with bacteria in the soil. Once the roots synthesize with this bacteria, the plant is able to pull nitrogen from the air and convert it in a process called nitrogen fixation. The roots will then develop nodules, and these nodules will feed the plants as well as neighboring plants. To show you an example of root nodules, I pulled up one of my bean plants. And sure enough, there are root nodules all over the root system. To ensure you have the bacteria in your soil, I recommend purchasing inoculates from your seed supplier company. Now, these are inexpensive, and one thing to keep in mind though, is some are blended uh, for different type of crops. For example, this one is for soybean, pea, vetch, lentil, dry bean, and peanuts. And this one is only for pea, vetch, and lentil. And using inoculates is really straightforward. I just add my seeds into a jar. I pour in the inoculate, and then I add a little water and swirl them around. Now we're ready for planting. Place the seeds in the one inch deep holes that you've created. Gently cover them up with the soil. Now for the next five to seven days until they germinate, keep them moist with an overhead shower. Then when they germinate, I'll move to drip irrigation. If you don't have drip irrigation, just try to water them without getting their foliage wet. This will help prevent disease. At this time, also apply organic mulch, such as grass clippings or dead leaves. This will allow the soil to stay moist, and it will also give earthworms food. The earthworms will eat the mulch and then convert that into worm casings, which is natural fertilizer. I do this on all my vegetables. Unlike many other beans, bush beans do not require support. However, I found it helpful to put a small fencing around the edge of my raised bed to prevent the plants from falling over. Here's an example of one uh, that, that's falling over the edge. So a small fence can help support them on each other and prevent cracking. It's now late July and I have three sets of plantings. One that's just flowering, another one that's just starting to form buds, and another set that is ready for a big harvest. 
Beans are ready to harvest when they reach about four to seven inches long and a little fatter than a pencil. Frequent harvesting will ensure that the plant keeps producing. At the end of the season, cut the plants off at the base and leave the nitrogen fixed roots into the soil. Then just compost the plant. So let's quickly recap. Select the right seed, use compost, plant when it's above 60 degrees, inoculate your seeds if you haven't done so before, use nine plants per square foot, keep moist until germination, then apply organic mulch, plant in phases for continuous harvest, and harvest frequently to promote new growth. Hope you found this video helpful, and before you go, please comment, like, and subscribe to our channel so you're notified of new videos. Also, check out our other videos.